Well, uh, Valerie and Dan, I, you both raised the issue of context in corporate disclosures. Uh, the GRI has a sustainability principle called sustainability context. And very rarely we see a, a company embracing this, this principle. Uh, the external verifications that we have today, they also overlook context. And in your presentation, Valerie, you talked about sector context and ecosystem context. I think that's what the principles the principal is asking for is more ecological <coughs> context. And uh, I know that one of your colleagues, Mark McElroy, uh, developed uh, the true sustainability in that, which is supposed to fill this gap. But uh, he assumed that an organization is concentrated in a particular geographical region. So my question to, to, to any of you is how to deal with context uh, in transnational and multinational corporations. Because the whole rationale of reporting today is organizational center. So you have, for, for a company that has several or dozens of operations everywhere, they try to aggregate context into a single report. So that's simply impossible. So, and we are seeing companies being awarded quality uh, without context. And so, but how to overcome that? Yeah, okay. Sure, I can. Uh, I can start. So I think you know that's the big elephant in the room, right? And so what we would see is, um, what we're starting to see is two layers. So what is context from a sector specific, and are you at least addressing those material issues from a sector specific context? But um, that has to be informed with an ecological context at a local level. So I think that's that's the future. Uh, what is the I think that we are multiple years away of that, frankly, because of the level of effort required to draw a scope in terms of what is the local context for my consumption of, um, or my even understanding of what's the, what is the ecological <laughs> sustainability of, of what I'm trying to consume in, the, in this uh, local space. We're starting to see that, for example, one example would have been Coke looking at water in India. Right, so one very small example of, of what that looks like and what they've done about it. So I think we need to get there, but what is, seems to be missing is the ability of, of, of giving uh, the organization, what is, what is the carrying capacity of the um, of ecology or of the key indicators where that organization is occurring? Like the, big, the question would be whose responsibility is it to, to get that data? Is it the organization's responsibility? Or is it um, the government who is approving that organization from operating and taking and using those resources there? So I think we, those are some of the, 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 situa you know, the situations. Am, am I gonna, is that company gonna set policy? Is that company going to get uh, the information? Or is it gonna be imposed saying, this is the amount of water that's, that's available here, corporation, this is what you can actually there, so it's going. To, I think that that problem. Sorry for a uh, long answer, but that problem will be informed by by both the parties. It has to be. Just a just a comment. I, I can't resist. Uh, <laughs> we've uh, we recently actually published a report on this uh, on, on this question of contextual reporting in the uh, for agriculture. There's a lot of work that's that's being done, as you know, like you mentioned, for the food industry. And, you know. Uh, all the uh, all the other large companies are getting into uh, into this context question because they operate in ecosystems and the consumer and the regulator everybody's asking this question. So what you're doing all these great things? What are the outcomes? Uh, and I think the, the, the promising thing I think that Dan is that is alluding to that is that uh, is that while we have uh, progress of, in terms of corporate reports, I think we are also having a lot of progress. And, and it was obvious from Andre's presentation a lot of public sector, governmental, uh, so public entity reporting that are not connected. So how do you how do you see this connection being forged? How do we how do we better attribute the actions of a company and you know stakeholders at that level 
with outcomes at the at the ecosystem at the national levels. I think that's the crux of the, the, of the question. So how do you how do you see some progress in, in that in that direction? Thank you, Valerie and Laszlo. I saw uh, another hand over there earlier, or I'm imagining. Okay, one and then two. You in the back. Um, yeah. I just had a quick question about the reporting. Uh, a lot of time and effort goes into those reports, hundreds and hundreds of hours. And aside from the rating agencies, who would you say are the biggest uh, three, I guess, group audience members or, that are reading these reports? Uh, I have that graph. I took it out. Actually, the corporate register has a very good uh, analysis of that, and I often use that uh, that pie chart. Um, so, in terms of self-disclosed ones, um, students use a significant amount. Uh, NGOs do not, they, because in many cases they don't quite believe the information that's in the report. So I think that's like, you know, in terms of credibility and so forth, NGOs are, are skeptical. Consultants <laughs> use those reports. Um, and then, uh, and, there, and increasingly I would say, you know, uh, in, institutional investors, those that are, that are focused in that area. So when you look at that, that picture, um, I think you need to then say, why are we really doing it? Because uh, if any of those are not all that compelling to your organization, then then you need to you need to make sure that you are doing it for the right reasons. Just a quick follow-up. It seems to me that the, the best reason to do it is to engage with employees and um, the future employees to get a sense of what the company stands for. But that doesn't seem to be what the uh, statistics um, uh, it's going to all these people. I mean, why would a company spend hundreds and hundreds of hours for students to read about your, your CSR initiatives? Well, yeah, but remember that um, uh, a company then uses the report. Uh, if they do it right, then they take segments of it and actually live it through the organization. So there's their you know, the internal gateway space. There's how they used it to to inform that. So. You, if you just produce a report and say, you know, employee read it, then then in fact it's not going to really be useful. It's, it's what what are all of those things that, that are being reported on in that report that the employees have had a chance to participate and do that really make that that meaningful. So it's it's again it's it's all of the activity and the processes that end up being talked about in the report. But the report is just a report. I, I, we have to remember that it's just a report. 